Hey YouTube, so um, by popular request I've been asked to do a review uh, in one of my previous tool videos I showed you guys some of the meters that I carry with me in my vehicle at all times well actually in my backpack so I was asked um, about one of those meters uh, the meter in question was the uh, Fluke 376 True RMS clamp meter um, for those that don't know it's this little beastie over here maybe you remember it from the previous video so what we're going to do now is we're going to get down onto the bench, take a look at this meter, and I'm going to talk about why I went for this meter as opposed to all the other different clamp meters that are out there. Uh, people have seen me do reviews of the bigger clamps uh, from Fluke, etc., but I decided on this one because of the nice small form factor, and it does inrush and it does all the other nice little things that I want from a clamp meter. Now, just to get started, this clamp meter is nice for one-handed operation. You can just sort of rotate it with your thumb like that. It's got a fairly big jaw, quite nice. One side of it is plastic insulated, the other side's got a bit of showing metal, so you've got to watch that for rust. Um, you've got a sort of screw connector on the back to change the batteries. It takes two Penlite uh, AA batteries. Uh, the meter will do volts AC, volts DC, millivolts DC. It'll do capacitance, resistance, up to a few kilo ohms. Um, continuity, amps AC, hertz amps DC with inrush, both of them, I've got the inrush function, and of course it has the iFlex option on the top over here, which allows you to connect the iFlex probe for doing large conductors and up to 2500 amps. So although this meter is designed for possibly about a thousand amps on the clamp on it, using the iFlex clamp section you can go up to 2500 amps of current measurement in one device. For electricians, I highly recommend it. But let's get down to the bench and take a closer look at this meter. Right, so in the bag, we have the Fluke 376 clamp. Okay, comes in one of these nice sort of Fluke bags, by the way. But anyway, inside we have the Fluke 376 clamp meter. We have a set of the, the cheaper Fluke leads, uh, the TL75 uh, Fluke leads. I really don't like these leads, but um, you know what? They're better than some of the cheap ones, um, although I've seen cheap ones that are better than these. But anyway, I don't like these TL75 leads, but they do do the job. I personally don't use them, hence why they still have a strap around them. Um, I tend to use my Fluke 117 or my Fluke 177 for general probing measurements. Um, this one more is a backup for that, but this one more is a clamp meter for doing DC and AC inrush current, etc. Then, of course, you have the iFlex, which is this little fellow over here, which plugs into the meter. It's got a special socket on the meter just for this, um, so you can't plug it into any multimeter. Um, now, the iFlex idea is that this opens up, okay, so you can open it up and you can grow this to go around pretty much any size conductor up to that size, which is pretty damn big. Um, and of course it's being flexible you can get it into funny places etc uh, for storage I find storing it just like that locking it in place nice and compact doesn't take up too much room so yeah the iFlex is quite a nice um, addition to this meter and it allows you to get to the 2500 amp mark without any problems at all now the meter itself um, if we look at the meter let's get this out of the way is very robust it's very well made it's got the sort of integrated rubber holster on it um, it's got the special probe points at the bottom over here uh, rubberized wheel the face plastic is the usual fluke plastic which is pretty good um, we've got the main rotary dial to be able to switch between functions we've got a second function button and a zero button for the dc side of things We've got a backlight button, a min-max button, and an inrush button. And then, of course, on the side over here, we have a hold button. So while you're doing a measurement, you can literally just push that hold button without pretty much doing anything else, without trying to like use a second hand to operate the other functions. So let's get in a little bit closer and do some DC measurements, etc. Although this is an AC clamp, we're going to do some... Um, DC, well, it's an AC-DC clamp, so we'll do some DC current measurements and compare them to what the power supply does. And we'll also do some voltage measurements and compare it in accuracy against, uh, what do I have here, Fluke 177 or the Bryman TBN 867. We'll 
probably use the Fluke 177 for reference. That's a little bit easier. And we'll just check how accurate this thing actually is on the DC ranges, etc. Okay, so yeah, we've got the two meters hooked up to my DC reference volts. Obviously, this meter over here won't do the millivolts, microvolts, or any fancy things like that. It's just a standard volt, but we do have a millivolts showing 1.2. And as you can see here, we're showing one millivolt, but if we go down on the fluke, we have 1.2. Now, this device on the millivolt side, there you can see we're pretty much on par on millivolts. Um, that's about 97 millivolts, so we got 97.8, 97.8. We're still more or less in range. We have 204 on the reference, 204.7, 204.7. So, so far, so good on millivolts. Quite impressed with this clamp. So you've got 433 on the reference. We're showing 434 434.2, 441, 541.3, 541.4, uh, 800 on the reference, and we're showing overloads. So... I think these will do up to just over 600. This one's already on overload. It went on to overload at just, just in the 550 millivolts region. And uh, yeah, this one will go a little bit higher. So for all intents and purposes, not bad. So let's go over to volts DC. And we're showing 0 0.55, well, sorry, 0 0.552 and 0 0.6. So yeah, okay, fair enough. But let's jam it up to around five volts or thereabout. Sorry, just getting this thing exactly on 5 is quite an interesting exercise. So anyway, 5.004. Okay, 5.004. We're showing a good result here so far. Look, this isn't going to have the resolution that this does, but in so saying, the accuracy is what I'm looking at right now. So if I just tilt that a little bit to the side, we can see it a little bit better. Let's just get something underneath there so that it stays like that. There we go. Okay, so now let's take it up to around 12 volts. Uh, let's see, what do we got? 12.518, okay? 12.52, 12.5, we're still good. Now let's just see 12.852, 12.85, 12 12.9. So it is rounding up, um, which is not really a problem. Now let's go to around 20 volts. Okay, 20.262. 20.26, 20.3. So let's just take it to, to 2, 20.22, 20.2. Okay, so accuracy, I have no issue with the Fluke 376 clamp on the DC range. Um, now, obviously, this meter here won't be able to measure current to the level that this will be able to. So I'm not going to do a current comparison between the two. It would be a complete and utter waste of time. But what I am going to do is just compare this to the ammeter on my DC power supply and just see how the two compare. So for all intents and purposes, so far so good on this little meter over here. Yeah, just a few things I'm going to check. My 10.2 resistor. We're showing 9.9, .9, close enough. And then just the continuity. It's not very fast. But it's definitely latching, which is good. No complaints about that. Um, and as you saw, the resistor did measure a little bit lower. Then I would have hoped, but um, nothing wrong with that. Of course, we've got the capacitance, the amps. We're going to now go ahead and do some DC amp measurements um, and see how that performs. So let's go ahead with that. Pull these leads out. And uh, let's take it through. Let's double it. So we're going to go twice so that we've got double the, the current. Uh, just because the clamp can do a lot more. Um, in fact, we can go three times and a fourth time. So we're going to times it by four. Whatever I put in, if I put one amp in, I should get four amps out. So here we go. Let's just reduce this current. So let's put it up to one amp. 
Right now we're busy putting one amp through the meter, so you'll see four amps. There we go, it's settled on four quite nicely. Now let's up that to two. two amps and we've got 8.1 so let's take that up to five amps and just see uh, well, I'm battling to get it exact so we've got 5.02 amps so we're getting 20.4 still looks pretty good so yeah I'm happy with that pretty accurate measurements um, on the DC clamp side and I didn't even zero it out because it is zeroed at the moment which is brilliant so yeah DC amps no problems at all now should we take a look at the what else can we look at we can do the iFlex but that's kind of the same thing um, yeah there's not much else to look at of course we've got the inrush and the min max function um, the min max function will basically give us a let's get closer to the screen It'll give us a min-max where we can do the maximum reading, minimum reading, average reading, actual reading at any time. So it's got the full fluke min-max function, which is brilliant. Um, and that's functional in all the, the modes. Then of course we've got the backlight. It's just a, a clean white on-off backlight. It seems to be more lit from this side over here. But in so saying, it'll definitely get the job done and give you some good visibility on the screen in dark environments. So, nothing to complain about all in all the reason i went for this clamp meter is it is a very nice piece of hardware and it kind of does most things that an electrician would require from a multimeter or a clamp meter again bearing in mind the ohm scale is lower etc uh, there's a lot of little niggles about it oh and i forgot to mention you do have the hold function over here which you just press and it'll hold press it again and it'll unhold and so on and so forth so yeah, all in all, Fluke, big thumbs up from me here on the Fluke 376. It fits nicer in my bag um, and also in my kit, so I don't have to carry around that big Fluke clamp that I used to use. So thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time, have a brilliant and a great year. Cheers for now.